Hey guys, so um, Fidel with uh, Tejas Roofing just dropped off the uh, building supplies. And if you can see behind me, the house is getting ready to be built. So I've got the zip board and those two by fours, my tar paper roll for the roof. This is the uh, foil backed OSB that will be for the roof to kind of give me a little bit more heat shielding. Um, that's the sheet metal we had gotten yesterday. Actually, I don't think I posted anything yesterday. Uh, there's the 2x6s and some more 2x4s for the frame of the house. So, I'll show you guys what I got right now and I'll do it in the background. So, here's the uh, sheet metal, the corrugated tin that's going to go underneath the uh, floor. And I'll show you up underneath. I'm, I'm on my iPad so this is a little cumbersome. Um, so I've got the subfloor here and those are those door panels I've been talking about using. Um, the cool thing about those is that it's like, it's solid. It's steel and uh, foam in between and around the edges I'm gonna shoot spray foam or expanding foam like you would use in windows uh, well, like you would use in windows. So that is going to go along the length, and then I'll put my zip board on top of it. And the thing to do, and like they told me again, you put the green side and the foil side, you put it down. So, uh, you don't have any issues. Sorry, it was a bug. So you put the foil side down for your roof. And for the floor and the um, for the floor you put the green side down but for the walls you put it green side out which would be just like putting it down so you're exposing the condition side to the elements except for with the foil backed OSB which will have that on the other side so it'll help disperse heat a lot better we hope Yay! So it's I'm so excited guys. Okay, we're getting on a road. You know, getting on a roll here. I'm gonna end up cutting that. That's not gonna be there. The uh, extra piece of corrugated steel. The overhang on it's gonna be cut off and it's probably gonna be used in the bathroom. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna save it. Maybe I can spray it with some uh, muriatic acid and give a patina to it. Like an artificial uh, oxidation I don't know we'll see so again that's what I got guys that's the two by sixes that I fit in my Corolla that car yeah yeah I had all this sheet metal all this uh, 15 pieces of two by nine two by ten corrugated steel it's pretty funny but yay I'm so excited guys like I said <clears throat> I went and got more brackets that's what you can't see behind this piece of board that I pulled off the one before the guy that I bought the trailer from was gonna turn it into a uh, tiny house as well he had the same idea but he, he lacked ambition so I've got more stuff here never mind the solar panel I've got my screws I've got my nails. I uh, picked up a table saw today, and I also picked up a uh, a framing nailer. At least I think it's a framing nailer. I gotta go uh, check the nails on it, but I got it for 50 bucks, so it's really not bad. It looks like one because it's the big behemoth and not the smaller one. But I know that there's two. I found out there's two different kinds of nailers. The larger ones, the framing nailer is the one I need, and I don't recall the second. I should actually be doing medical terminology stuff right now for school. But I'm so excited! Like, he just dropped it off. He just left. His, he was pretty cool. His name was Fidel. His daughter goes to my school as well. I did not know. I do not know her, but I thought it was pretty interesting nonetheless. So, guys, this is Charlie with, uh... It's gonna be a Star Wars themed house. See if you guys can imagine it. Can you imagine it? You know, the walls coming up to about 
here. All along. Anyways. I'm really excited. I'm super pumped. I cannot explain to you how exciting of a day this is has been so far. So, until next time, um, I'll keep you guys up to date. I'm probably going to be looking for some people to uh, help me raise walls. No, we're not going to dress in Amish clothing. But uh, I'm going to start building the frames for the w for the walls, I think. I don't know. I got 70 2 by 4 by 10s but I'm not sure that's going to be enough. I think it's going to be 24 for each side wall and 12 for each the front and the back. It should be enough. We could be getting close. But I got plenty of uh, 2 by 6s. Um, I have weathered used 2x6s too that I'm going to use for the uh, kitchen and bathroom and uh, the platform for the master bedroom. So that's going to look really cool because they're going to be weathered. They're that um, well, We all know what weathered wood looks like, but it kind of looks like the fence, very similar to the color of the fence. I think with the color scheme or the proposed color scheme of the house, red, white, and black, red and white black and white with red accents there we go um, I think that the the tan gray is gonna look really good um, I went today and I looked for um, windows as well as flooring I found some really pretty flooring but I don't know I really want the gray flooring so if anybody has any other materials or knows of anybody that's tearing down a house I still <laughs> it's amazing but I still need materials um, at this rate I'll be able to finish the shell of the house and then come spring I'll be able to afford to start setting up the inside and then uh, until then I'll be on the hunt for like cabinets and um, plywood really nice plywood not OSB because that stuff ain't gonna cut it um, oh well while we're talking I'll go ahead and show you the uh, the door panels that will be the insulation for the house and you see here's a bunch of them these are the ones that have the uh, small panel inset panels to the doors but if you can see here that's an inch of foam of styrofoam. If I wanted to, I could probably peel all that piece of metal off, but um, I kind of like it because, in theory, the bottom of my house is going to be able to take a shotgun blast. There's something really appealing about that, or an IUD. So uh, let me uh, let me know what you guys think. I know I've moved around and I'm kind of doing a selfie stick situation here but again this is the progress I've made so far in the house which again I know guys is not a lot As you can see the canter leaving brackets the uh, support brackets that I did the canter leaving on you can see the uh, sheet metal on the underside and then you can see the uh, insulation that I'll be using I also have not bought the insulation for the house or for the walls and for the ceiling or the roof. Um, I'm considering using rock wool for the roof, but the weight of it is an issue um, because I've already got a weight, a lot of weight in my foundation, as you can see. And uh, I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, I know I keep saying that a lot. Ugh. So. That being said, I'll see you guys soon, and I'll keep you updated and posted about what's going on, and uh, I'll give you guys a full look on what I got. We're about ready to start.